500 meters down, and in even the clearest tropical waters, only the faintest vestige of the sunlight remains. So little that our eyes can't detect it, but others can. Hatchetfish are masters of the game of hide and seek. They have the large sensitive eyes needed for seeking prey, but their bodies are flat. And their sides are highly silvered. Head on, they are just visible, thin though they are. But as soon as they turn, their mirrored sides reflect the remnants of blue light from the surface and they disappear into the gloom. Viewed from the side, whole shoals can hide in this way. But what about from below? The tubular eyes of many of the predators, even in this gloom, are able to distinguish their prey, silhouetted against the scarcely detectable glimmer of light from above. Hatchet fish, however, have a way of confusing any eyes that might be searching for them from below. Their bellies carry rows of light-producing cells called photophores. They can use these to exactly match the changing color of light from the surface far above. This counter-shading breaks up their silhouette, making them almost invisible from below. Almost. But these are no ordinary eyes. The enormous yellow lenses enable their owner to distinguish between light produced by photophores and sunlight. So, one device for escape is countered by another equally subtle one for attack in an evolutionary arms race that has been waged for millions of years. <laughs>